Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back here to do my melts for the week. So first my empties and then my unempties. Um, everything in the same video again, just how I'm doing things now. Um, I do have a fairly good stack of unempties this week. Um, I, I think because I went quite hard on my L3 box and I had quite a few sort of L3 things sitting, bags sitting there. So I've got a reasonable kind of stack of bags there. But Anyway, let's get stuck into it. I'll start with the shot cups I finished. So I did, um, uh, sorry, just pause to try and stop the flare. Uh, Dessa's Homespun Scents Tropical Fruit Chiller. So this one's not bad. It is very, um, like, syrupy to me. Like a fruit kind of concentrate, like, before you mix it up with other things, like soda water or something. Like, it's got a nice tropical fruity vibe, but I just find it's a little bit kind of oversweet and overdone for me. So, good throw. Um, I don't think I need to get that one again. K, Aragula. <laughs> it just doesn't come out naturally. Aragula for me. Um, we call it Rocket here anyway. Um, I love this scent. It doesn't smell like lettuce to me, honestly. Um, it smells... Just like it smells like an amazing complex green kind of herbal almost a little bit floral but it's definitely more of a green kind of garden scent but it doesn't smell like a dirt veggie patch garden or anything like that it just is so incredibly strong and just refreshing and Oh, I love it. It's amazing. It's so good on its own. Um, it is a little bit strong. Like I have blended with it. And I do enjoy it with blends, but so far I've probably still preferred it on its own. Um, like I said, great throw from it. Yes, I will 100% get that one again. I love it. Rose Girls, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Um, this, I don't think she's ever said what the notes are, so I still don't know. On warm, it smells, I mean, sorry, on cold, it smells slightly smells citrusy slightly creamy but more it kind of smells like, like a flat kind of orange soda kind of thing like it smells like it was fizzy but it's not really anymore um in any case i melted it it had zero throw i mean like none nada even when i got close i think i had to go right up nose to the warmer to get even the faintest whiff of orange and it's not like it was that old i think it was like it was sent to me as a um by someone else but it was from the halloween sampler last year so it's really not that old um so i don't know what the deal is with that but yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't get that <laughs> um l3 beach nights blackberry jam with cream i really enjoy this scent um i i don't know why i know a lot of people don't love l3's beach nights i really do um i actually quite like that it doesn't smell like most other vendors beach nights it is more of a salty sea air kind of scent but i like it better than salty sea air it's almost like i would use what i would use as a salty sea air blender instead of salty sea air and with this one it just really blends nicely with a nice kind of sweet pop of blackberry jam sometimes the blackberry jam is a little bit medicinal to me but in this blend it's not it's really lovely i don't really get whipped cream so much like i didn't recall noticing anything creamy about it i just smelt that kind of salty beach night scent and the sweet pop of blackberry jam but still really like it wouldn't need big quantities of it but i would get like another small you know bunt pack or something again l3 bell of the ball so lemon cream cupcake sweet coconut pineapple i absolutely adore this scent i have another fluted tart pack um i mean i love sweet pineapple scents i love pineapple bakery scents and just the addition of the lemon is just so good it is, I think, I tend to notice the pineapple a bit more just because I love the pineapple. Um, but I do think it's probably sort of almost equal parts lemon and pineapple. I don't really get a huge amount of coconut from it. It just maybe adds to that sort of tropical pineapple-iness. Um, but yeah, this is a phenomenal scent um, with just a light kind of bakery cupcake note in it. Um, it throws, it's a solid medium to high. I do wish it was stronger just because, you know, I want to like bathe in it, but still... Um, strong enough and yeah I've I mean I've got another fluted tart pack but I will re repurchase that again I think once I've finished that I really like it 
L3 Fanta Orange Soda Fizzy Soda. So this look, it's okay. Um, I think I'd probably just prefer Fanta Orange Soda on its own without the Fizzy Soda. Because the Fizzy Soda is kind of, to me, it's like a lemon-lime fizzy scent. And I think I would prefer this without that lemon-lime tone. Like, I think I was really hoping for like a strong orange fizzy scent. And yeah, it was just orange lemon-lime, which wasn't, you know, wasn't as good for me as I was hoping. That's okay, though. It threw well, um, but yeah, I wouldn't get this again. But I might try the Fanta on its own or Fanta Orange Soda. I don't know. I think, I don't know if the Fanta Orange Soda is one oil or two. But anyway, so I keep putting my arm across it. Uh, Pumpkin Mallow from L3. So this is a sample. I, look, getting a bit ahead of, ahead of myself season-wise with this. Um, and I wasn't expecting much because on cold, this was very light. But this was actually really beautiful. And I feel like this was definitely kind of feeling like what my fall vibe will be this year. Because surprisingly, it smelled, I don't want to say spicy, like a pumpkin spice. It didn't smell like that. It smelled, it reminded me of like a pumpkin bonfire bliss. And I don't know why. Um, I've never smelled a pumpkin on its own. I presume it's not like a smoky pumpkin. But I feel like I just got that kind of sort of crackling bonfire, but like pretty crackling bonfire in with pumpkin. It was really good. Um, and the sweetness from the mallow. So I got strong pro from it here in my office. I am going to um, get some more of this before, well, you know, probably leaning up. I'll try to anyway. Um, I know getting something like this poured is going to be a bit interesting because, um, you know, it's not exactly the kind of scent that most of you in the US would want to be getting at this time of year but yeah anyway if not I mean I have my customs coming up some point in the next couple of months so maybe I'll just get it in my customs but still really enjoyed it definitely want more um Teddy Bee's Miami Vice so fresh pineapples coconut leaves strawberry dakiri um or daiquiri I really love this um it's one of my favorite pineapple scents it's just it's got this beautiful juicy fresh pineapple juice um, you know, it's a real sweetened kind of version of pineapple. And then it just smells like it's mixed into a really beautiful cocktail. I get a bit of strawberry, but it just smells like an other fruit. It doesn't smell distinguishably strawberry. I really mostly get the pineapple. Um, this one throws really well. I love it. I have a loaf of it. I did get more of it. It's just, yeah, it's one of my favorite pineapple scents. Use my other hand to reach for it. So I'm not shoving my arm in front of the camera. Um, this one with the label coming off is Teddy Bee's Goddess, so Blue Sugar and Volcano type. Um, I didn't really go and visit this one much melting. I did smell it a little bit. It is a nice scent. I'm not super familiar with Volcano, but I feel like it does. This kind of smells tropical. Um, there's a distinct note to it that I'm just not putting my finger on at the moment. But I do like the blue, sh blue sugar with kind of tropical-esque scents. I do quite enjoy. Um, like I said, I mean, I smelled it, so it was definitely throwing. But I feel like I didn't go in there enough to know how strong it was throwing. And this I've had sitting in the collection for a while. So it wouldn't surprise me if it was on the lighter side. Um, I don't think I need to get that one again. But it was, it was fine. I just, yeah, it sat there for a long time. And I didn't really reach for it. Shawshank from L3 Waxy Wonders, Blueberry Fresh Baked Bread and Coffee Bean. Um, I really like this. I really enjoy her fresh baked bread with blueberry. I've got a loaf of, I think it's blueberry cobbler and fresh baked bread, but still same thing pretty much. I like this one. It does have a nice dose of coffee without being too much. Her coffee bean can be a little bit like old, stanky coffee sometimes. Um, but in, in blends, it, it doesn't bother me too much as long as it's not too strong. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed this. It threw well. Maybe I'd get it again. I'm not sure. I don't, wouldn't need big quantities of it because I've got other blueberry coffee scents I like a lot more than that one. But still, it was not bad. Rose Girls, Strawberry Cookie Land. So this is Strawberry Pancake, Confetti Cake, Toffee, Butterscotch, Pretzels and Cookies. The first time I melted this, I really enjoyed it. But something happened with my nose with Cookie Land. The first few times I melted Cookie Land, I liked it. But now all I get is the Toffee Butterscotch. Like, it smells like a toffee apple. And I, I like the strawberry in here, but it just wasn't enough to kind of counter that um, toffee apple scent. So... Um, 
throw was sort of medium to high and yeah this one not a repurchase I just I can't I I really did I got a few blends of cookie land to start with because I did think I liked it um I thought it was kind of similar family to L3's cookie therapy but now I still love cookie therapy but cookie land I just I can't anymore I don't know what happened Teton Tart Cigar Bar, so Amberwood Sea Salt Bergamot Palo Santo. Absolutely adore this blend. I had it in my bedrooms yesterday afternoon. It is just so pretty and sexy. You get a lot of amber, I think. Like, I feel like Amber Woods is probably the strongest tone in it, and sea salt. Like, not a salty sea air, but there's definitely a saltiness to it. Um... I think the bergamot just adds a bit of complexity. There's not a strong amount of palo to it. It is there. There's definitely a woodsiness to it. but um, And it kind of gives it that sort of, you know, like deep, dark, sexy kind of like a bar. Like thinking about, you know, um, like a wooden, you know, like a really kind of, is luxurious the word? Rich? You know, not thinking mahogany, but just like, you know, woods every nice woods everywhere and just yeah all of that kind of stuff so really enjoy this it threw really well um i have no idea um what's happening with tea time tarts if she's returning if she, if things will be reliable when she returns because she's had all sorts of shipping issues so i'm not gonna say never um but i'm i just feel yeah i don't know i just don't know um, but if I was able to get this blend again somehow reliably, I absolutely would. It was really beautiful. Um, L3 Waxy Wonders Cotton Candy White Elephant Exchange. So this I really enjoyed. One of the few, this was the first Cotton Candy, uh, I'm sorry, White Elephant Exchange blend I ever got. White Elephant Exchange being like a, uh, powdered white cake donuts kind of scent. Um, and most of the time I can't smell it in blends. It gets lost, but... For some reason, in this very first one that I got, I have smelled it really strongly. Like it smells like a really strong donut and cake scent with a bit with like a nice sweet cotton candy. I do not know why, whether something changed, because even now it's not like this scent, you know, whether like I don't know, but this one the whole way through it has smelled really strongly of that sort of those white elephant exchange notes. So really, really random. But anyway, really enjoyed it. Probably not going to repurchase it because now just White Elephant Exchange. I feel like if I was to get this blend again, it would not smell the same. I just feel like the White Elephant Exchange is different. I don't know why. Um, but if I could get this combo again, then I think I would because I did really like it. So I keep reaching over. <laughs> L3 Buttercream Zucchini Bread Sugar Cookie Royale and Wildberry Mousse. I love this scent. It is one of my favourites. It is just... Ugh. So I've realized that I love wild berry mousse, but I mostly only like it paired with zucchini bread. When I've had it with like cupcake scents and things like that, it takes on a kind of a sort of plasticky berry kind of like tone. It just doesn't smell great, but something about, and similar with ra raspberry, similar. I think wild berry mousse has raspberry in it. So, um, both raspberry scents and wild berry mousse scents when you pair them with zucchini bread, just something absolutely magical happens. Like they get this incredible berry bakery dip that I just cannot get enough of. And then this one has like a beautiful creaminess with the buttercream. Um, the sugar cookie we're out, I think just kind of makes it so that it's not just a super heavy zucchini bakery. It's a mixed bakery, but to me, it's the zucchini bread that really kind of brings the wild berry mousse alive. Great throw from it. I have more. So I have two puppy packs and then I have a loaf on the way so because this one I just feel like I reach for because this is the third packet of this that I've gone through I've gone through two packs of fluted tarts and I had something in it before that as well um, because I just feel like I reach for a lot when I'm melting berry bakeries I just I want that one um, I do have another combo though that I I'm probably going to get in customs as well that I love pretty much as much as that one, which is raspberry whip, zucchini bread, and adipose. Different scent, but same kind of just magical berry zucchini bread combo. So 
um, between those two, I just feel like those two are just scents that I want. When I want bakery in the mornings, those are ones that I want more than just about anything else at the moment. Rose Girls, The Whole World. So Pink Sugar Bergamot and The Olive Branch. Um, this one, I'm... Um, Interestingly, and I noticed this melting, I got more of the olive branch. I feel like the um like it smell has just that distinctive lush scent. Um like I'm getting that smell in the bag. I got it when it melted and I know I didn't when I first melted it. So I feel like the olive branch is one of those scents that needs time to cure. Um the first time I melted it, I think it was mostly just pink sugar and bergamot. So yeah, it definitely just kind of has like a polished, almost soapy lush vibe um it's really hard to describe i don't get like a distinguishable pink sugar or anything this is the first time i've actually gone oh yeah i can pinpoint something in this blend and it's the olive branch um and even then i can't like pick out the notes to it i just smelling it and going yeah that i i've definitely smelled this scent before in lush um this one is a medium thrower um and it, i don't know it's just it's a bit of a mystery scent to me, even after melting it a few times. So it, I don't think that one I need to get again. I keep reaching this way. <laughs> Rose Girls Blackberry Amber. So I love Blackberry Amber. I'm fairly certain it's an oil. Um, yeah, because I've got some from Ebony Violet as well. And it smells really good there too. So, And I've smelled it. The first time I ever smelled it, I think, was Sassy Girl Aroma. And I was really glad to find Blackberry Amber at other vendors because that was one of the few scents that, like, I really felt... I, there weren't many scents from Sassy Girl Aroma that I really fell in love with, but she had a Blackberry Amber uh, Rain, I think, and that was amazing. So, weirdly, I haven't paired this with my favourite rain oil yet, so that is probably what I need to do with the one I've got from Ebony Violet, is pair it with Rain um, from Super Tarts because that, I think, would be amazing. Whether it would smell like the Sassy Girl one or not, I don't know, but it would be amazing. This is just like an amazing polished amber scent. It's kind of sexy. It does have blackberry. It almost reminds me of like a blackberry, like a kind of wooded wine or, you know, like that kind of, when blackberry kind of, blends with woodsy scents or it kind of gets that tone but yeah i just love it it's so pretty it throws really well um i don't care which vendor i get it from whether it's from rose girls or ebony violet i think they're the only two vendors i've seen offer it on its own um ebony violet does perform better for me than rose girls even though this one has performed fairly well um Ebony Violet lasts longer in my collection as well. So I'm probably more likely to get it from Ebony Violet than I am from Rose Girls. But I'm not fussed. Like, if I run out and Rose Girls has it, I'll get it from Rose Girls. I just love it. Um, Empire Alchemy Rose Gold Sugar Cookies. So pink sugar, vanilla, um, ice vanilla cookies and orange chiffon cake. Um, this has been a great scent. I will say um, it is... Although this time in the bag it's smelling, maybe it's just the bag smelling a bit different. The last couple of times I melted it recently, I've mostly smelt the orange chiffon cake. Like I haven't, previously I used to get a lot more of that pink sugar cookie scent and pink sugar vanilla cookies is just an amazing combo. Um, so that's what I loved about this. It just had a little pop of that orange chiffon cake. But yeah, as it's cured, the orange chiffon cake has come out a lot more strongly to the point where the last couple of times I've melted it, I've mostly just smelt orange chiffon cake. So um, still really enjoyed it because I like orange chiffon cake, but it was just better to start with. So um, really good throw all the way through. I think if I, I may get this one again in a small quantity. I do like that about Empire Alchemy is that she often offers like little wax bars and stuff. So you can kind of get scents that you like without sort of committing to lots of it. Um, particularly if it's a scent like this that does change over time, you don't want to get it. You want to get small amounts more often. So if I do get it again, which I might, then I'd, yeah, I'd just get a wax bar in it. And finally, for the empties, I have L3 Birdcage, so Pink Sands and Teakwood. This is very pretty. It doesn't really smell like Teakwood, so it's hard to say without having Pink Sands here to compare to, but I feel like it's mostly Pink Sands. It reminds me a bit of Pink Chiffon, like it kind of just smells like a really pretty, girly, kind of feminine perfume scent. 
Um, I don't know. Maybe the teak wood's doing something nice to it, but it doesn't smell woody. In fact, like it doesn't smell like what I know teak wood to smell like. So, but anyway, it's really pretty. Um, it threw quite strongly. Actually, this one's quite strong. Doesn't feel like it needs to be a repurchase, but maybe. And I think she's used this in a few blends, so I definitely would be open to getting this in a blend with something else. I think it would blend quite nicely. All right, so I'm going to move the empties, and then I'll get stuck into the unempties, of which there are also many. <laughs> All right, unempties time. And again, this week was a lot of L3. I think I've only got like a couple of super tart scents, which is very unusual for me. One of them, however, was super tarts Arwen. So sweet and cereal, marshmallow, sugary milk, sponge sugar, and buttercream. Um, this I got because I'm really just on a mission to try all of the. Sorry, I'm just there's the wax crumbs on my thing. On a mission to try all of the Magically Delicious scents because I really enjoy Magically Delicious. Um, it was interesting. So I melted this on the day that one of my kitchen warmers died. I have two warmers in my kitchen dining area. I have one Glade and I have a, a Kmart warmer. So Kmart Australia. Um, my Kmart warmers are actually hotter than my Glades. The Kmart says that it is up to 28 watts. I don't know if that means that it does get to 28 watts or... If it's somewhere, it but it's hotter than the glades, which are twenty. So, um, but I find the Kmart ones are really tend to be my, they tend to push the throw out, so I get good throw. And I think the glades, I like having a mix of glades and my. I'm on a tangent here, but I like having a mix of the hotter, warmer and the glade because I find I think the glade is what kind of gives me longevity, and then the the Kmart warmer is what gives me good throw, but maybe burns off a little bit faster. Not. For super tarts though super tarts tends to go the distance no matter what warmer i put it in anyway tangent because my kmart warmer died luckily i had another one to replace it with so for the first few hours i was only melting arwen in the glade warmer and i wasn't a huge fan of it to start with i just was kind of getting a vaguely sort of sweet scent off it and then i set up the brand new you know raring to go kmart warmer put another cube in and it gave me a real almost like caramelized burnt sugar bakery scent, which I really was not expecting. And I can kind of smell that tone a little bit here. So it wasn't like the warmer. It was actually the wax. But for some reason, the Glade warmer alone did not give me that. It wasn't when, until I really I put the Kmart warmer on and the scent really kind of powered up that I got it. And I actually enjoyed that a lot more. So, um... That was a very long way of saying, I don't know if I'll repurchase this again. Um, I need to try it again and, you know, maybe on different warmers and stuff. But, yeah, because at first I really didn't like it and then I put the other warmer in and then I liked it a lot. L3 Calacus Margarita Fizzy Pop. I really enjoy this. Um, I feel like this summer I've realised that, I think this happens to a lot of people, but I'm kind of over fizzy scents. I still enjoy a good ginger ale. Um... Like, I still enjoy a really well-blended fizzy scent, but as a general rule, I just, I've been putting them on, and they're all a bit the same, and I'm just a little bit over them. But this one, I'd say, this is one of the first fizzy scents I actually ever tried, um, and I'd say this is still one of my favourites. Calacus is like a lime, a lush lime scent, and to me, it smells like a combo of, like, lime cooler cordial, like that sort of artificial lime scent, and, like, lime jelly, and, or jello and real fresh lime and then just blended with the margarita and the fizziness it's just so fun and so perfect for a fizzy blend it's a combo of sweet and a little bit tart and fizzy and I just love this one so I get really good throw from it and yes I will I'd say with most of my fizzy scents now I'm not going to repurchase them but I feel like this one yeah, it's one of the only fizzy scents that I've melted this week, and I melted a few that I went, no, I still really enjoy that scent. So I also did this one from L3, Satsuma Cotton Candy Fizzy Pop. Um, this one I didn't actually choose myself. It came from a mystery box. And look, this one's not bad. But yeah, it did have kind of that generic fizzy thing. I do think the cotton candy was a good touch because it kind of sweetens it a little bit. But it almost adds like an art slightly kind of artificial note to it. So sometimes I smelt that and I was like, yeah, I'm not sure. And other times I smelt, you know, it smelt more kind of sweet satsuma fizzy and I liked it better. It's okay, but yeah, nothing special. Throw strongly, but I don't think I need to get that one again. 
L3 Lemon Mint Leaf Fizzy Soda. So yeah, another just kind of smells generic lemon lime fizzy. Um, I mean, it's got this one has got more of a fresh mint leaf kind of thing going on in it. I uh, definitely on cold, I'm getting a lot of that kind of lemon fresh mint, but I feel like when it was melting, it was mostly just yeah, just another fizzy scent. So could just be that I'm over them. So it threw well, but yeah, that one I don't think I need to get again. Uh, where to next? Teddy bees sipping on summer. So orange cream soda, sweet pineapple, peach nectar, and pink. Pink guava. Um, I quite enjoy this scent. I really, I always detect the pineapple in it and I really like it. I do like her pineapple a lot. It's the same pineapple I think in um, Miami Vice, which I also love, but it's not as strong in here. But I don't really detect any of the other fruits specifically. I feel like it's just kind of a creamy mixed sort of fruit punch scent. But a good one with that kind of just that sort of top note of the pineapple so I do really I do like it I definitely prefer Miami Vice I'd go for Miami Vice over this one if I wanted like a summer fruity scent from Teddy Bees I feel like Miami Vice throws stronger as well um but I don't know maybe I get that one again I don't doesn't feel like a must-have but it was nice enough Teddy Bees mosaic so sweet raspberry sugar hooky and rich peach cobbler um, this one I do enjoy. It's not as good as her, I really like her peach cobbler and in particular um, peach cobbler circus cookies or sugar cookies or whatever she calls it now. But this is nice. It's got a very sweet raspberry. I mean you get a little bit of tartness from it but yeah this feels like a very sweet scent. The peach is there but it doesn't really smell peachy. I don't know, like, I like this one, but I'm not mad about it, I guess. I get good strong throw from it, though. This is a very strong scent. It is a nice bakery. It's just not one I'm crazy about. Um, I've had a souffle, and then I got a chunk bag because I thought I was going to be in love with it. Um, so I don't think I need to get that one again once I'm done with that. But that's fine. If I'm enjoying melting it. I did Teddy Bee's Frosted Circus Sugar Cookies, which is sweet sugar, buttery shortbread buttercream frosting vanilla sugar cookie dough with pineapple cilantro so I just wanted a pineapple um creamy bakery scent and that's pretty much what I got although I mostly just smelled the pineapple with just some extra creaminess I mean the her pineapple Kate so Kay's pineapple cilantro definitely has like it's not a strong tart pineapple but it definitely has a sharpness to it like that from that herb so this combo probably would have done a little bit better maybe with like a sweet syrupy pineapple like maybe a honeyed pineapple or something along those lines but still it was good I mean I really enjoy pineapple bakery it just wasn't my favorite combo uh, the pineapple cilantro yeah I'll probably get that again I don't know after I finish that bag of frosted circus sugar cookies whether I need to get it again I do have a small handful of teddy bees frosted circus sugar cookie blends that I love um but as a general rule it's just not my favorite bakery blender it's just okay for me uh L3 La Lorana so Seaside Cotton Rainstorms Forest Air <clears throat> so I know this one is one that gets a lot of love and I do love a good um rainstorm blend this one is not my favorite um I think I've put my finger on it I think it's the Seaside Cotton because this takes a slightly kind of very dry, kind of sharp laundry tone. Yeah, there's just kind of a sharpness and a sort of laundry aspect to it, which I don't love about this one. So, and I don't know. <clears throat> I feel like I'm smelling the forest air on cold and it smells really nice. But on warm, I get the rainstorm. But just that, yeah, that kind of sharp, cottony laundry scent that I don't love. So... I like it, but I don't love it. It did throw better this time. Last time it was only sort of medium throw, or light medium. This time it was it was strong enough. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think I need to get that one again. I really thought I was going to love it, but it's, it's just okay for me. This one, on the other hand, I adore. So Pitchfork from L3, which is Hayride, Cashmere Cedar, and Rainstorm. Um, I melted this at the same time because I wanted to have a couple of different Rainstorm blends going. 
because I really do enjoy Rainstorm. Um, and this one, so what I think really makes this scent is the Cashmere Cedar. Cashmere Cedar, it adds a sweetness to fresh blends without, when I say sweet, I don't mean like, you know, cotton candy sweet or um, bakery sweet or fruity sweet or floral sweet, but it it reminds me, I don't know why, but it always makes me think of like like a woody tree, but like tree sap. And kind of just like fresh sweetness from that. I don't know if, because I don't even know if sap smells sweet, but that's just it. what it makes me think of. So this one to me, I, I get that kind of dry grass hay smell. Um, I get the real fresh storminess from the rainstorm. But just that beautiful, slightly kind of sweet cashmere cedar pop just had me really enjoying this one. And it really felt like a contrast to Lola Rana because it just had that dryness. And I just feel like it kind of sucked the air out of the room a bit. Whereas this one, I felt like it added kind of dew or moisture or it just felt, it just, just the vibe felt better. I don't know. So yeah, love Pitchfork. Great throw. 100% would get that one again. Um, I did L3 Blueberry Cobbler Fresh Baked Bread. I think I mentioned this one in my empties. I really enjoy this. I love the Fresh Baked Bread oil. Oh, it's so good. It's just, it doesn't even smell necessarily like bread to me. It just smells like a delicious blueberry bakery scent. I mean, it smells bready, but... I couldn't pick, put my finger on, yeah, that smells like, you know, other bread scents or whatever. But yeah, I absolutely adore this scent. I got great throw from it. It's taking me a while to get through this loaf. Um, so I guess I don't reach for it super frequently, but I love it. I would get it again. This one I also really like. Um, so L3 Coffee Bean Blueberry Pancakes. I was very surprised with this one because, yeah, coffee bean can be a little bit hit and miss and pancakes I'm not normally a fan of. And it does on cold, it does smell very strongly of coffee bean and pancake, but warmed up, it's really good. Again, the pancakes just smells more bakery, it doesn't smell like pancakes so much. You get a good amount of blueberry, but not too much. And the coffee, it just blends really well. It's super strong as well. Um, so this one, I kind of melted a whole bunch of these coffee blueberry bakery scents, because I kind of wanted to pick my favourites. Um, but I feel like I didn't really get any closer to that. So, I mean, blueberry cobbler fresh baked bread. So it's for one without coffee. I love that. I will continue to get that. But this one, I was wanting to decide between this and Shawshank. Shawshank is pretty much this plus coffee bean. Um, I mean, maybe I like the pancake one a little bit more, but I just, I don't know. Uh, Rose Girls Cooper Claws needs a latte, so espresso, baked zucchini, bread, royal sugar cookies, and Gilligan's Brew. I really like this. I melted this up here in my office, and it was just a really good bakery coffee scent. Like, the coffee is not too strong, but it is a really good coffee oil. Um, I, I can't stand her absolute coffee oil. It's terrible to me. Um, but her espresso is really good. Um... Her baked zucchini bread can get a little bit lost on me sometimes, but here it just blends into a really nice bakery. Her royal sugar cookies sometimes smells terrible to me, but for some reason it's fine in here. Um, but what I really like, I think, is the Gilligan's Brew. I feel like the pop, it's not strong, but there's just this really nice pop of um, coconut, and her coconut Gilligan's Brew was really nice. So I really enjoy it. It was medium to high. It could have been stronger, but it was a perfect strength for the office. Um, I do think I would get this. I'll see how long it lasts because that's my own my biggest issue with Rose Girls, particularly bakery and especially with zucchini bread, um, is that the the staying power. Like I just find it doesn't last long enough in my collection. So I'll see how this one goes. I mean I'll keep melting it, but like I, if I find like I have with some that by the six month mark it's not throwing enough, then I I won't get that again because. I need wax to last longer than six months. But if I can get if I can get through the bag and it's still throwing by the time I finish the bag, however long that may be, um, then I will get it again. 
I also did Cooper Claws is coming to town. So Royal Sugar Cookies Gilgit's Brew Baked Zucchini Bread. So it's basically that without the espresso. Um, I have had this one before. And I have to say, and this surprised me, I actually like the latte version more than this. Um, I just think the latte really kind of, the espresso really rounds this out. It also threw stronger. This one threw really well. This one was kind of light to medium. I don't know. I feel like that raw sugar cookie note that I really don't like. Like I can't smell the icky raw sugar cookie-ness, but there's just a note, a kind of sweet-ish note in there that just I don't love. So it's weird because I did like it last time, but now I don't, I don't know. Maybe... You know, sometimes when you finally realize that you really don't like an oil and then as soon as you realize that it just pops up in just about every time you smell a blend with it, you can just smell it because you've zeroed in on it and you know it and you don't like it. I feel like maybe that's what's happening a little bit here as I now I'm sort of picking up more on that raw sugar cookie scent. But thankfully I did not pick up on that in the latte one. So, so yeah, probably not going to get that one again. I'll see though. We'll melt through it and then, but I think I will get the latte one again. Uh, Super Tarts Bell. So this one is tea and cakes, blackberry, magically delicious. Very exciting news. Hot off the press in the group today, by the way, is that her band bags going forward will have the scent notes. She's put a picture of what the new label will look like. It's amazing. She's, I think they're not doing the halves anymore and they're doing bakery bags because they've had problems with the bags breaking, which is happening with a lot of vendors. Um, but yeah, the fact that she's putting the scent notes on them is just amazing, amazing news because I think every vendor everywhere should put scent notes on their product. It just... It helps me so much. Um, I love Belle. I'm melting this in the bedrooms. I've been melting it all day. I was going to change in the afternoon. We've sort of been out for a lot of the day. Came home, thought about changing, went in there. I went, nah, still feeling it. Belle is one of those scents that when I smell it on cold, I go, yeah, I like it, but, you know, is it? But then when I'm melting it, I'm just like, holy cow, I really need more Belle. Um, and it's one, like, even now I've only got, like, the half bam. I'm like, why didn't I get the full bam? You know, I know how much I love Belle. Because I love tea and cakes. Tea and cakes is just this kind of zingy. It's kind of a zingy, zesty bakery, but it is so different to any other kind of like orange or lemon bakeries out there. And then there's a little bit of sweetness from the Magically Delicious, and there's the blackberry. This is just her amazing blackberry. It is so good. So I just, I really, I think it's the magically delicious, even though I can't smell it overtly in there. I feel like that's what makes this really different to, not really different to a tea and cakes, other tea and cakes blends, but just makes it stand out compared to them. So love it. Super strong throw. It's been going all day. Um, 100% get that again. The pharmacist daughter, RIP. So blackberry jam, zucchini bread, funnel cake, and jelly donut. Had really high hopes for this one after smelling it on cold because it smells absolutely delicious. Um, blackberry jam smells good. Definitely very strong on the blackberry jam, but there was a, there's a really nice a bakery mix of bakery underneath. On warm, I didn't really get many of the, any of the bakeries. I just kind of got a blackberry jam scent, so it was good. But I really wanted to smell the bakery. So yeah, I don't know. It's yeah, it's just it does not smell nearly as complex on warm as it does on cold. Maybe I need to cure it a little bit longer. It was Black Black Friday sale, like a cyber sale. Not a cyber sale, like a pre-order at Black Friday, so but it's like mid February now and I think it was poured in probably December, so it should be okay. It also, I'd say, throw-wise, it was probably only medium. I'd say I have found with the pharmacist's daughter that the bakery scents I probably haven't had as good throw from. I get very strong throw from the fresh scents, the masculine scents, the um, pretty much most scents, but the bakery is a little bit more subdued, generally speaking. Some, some exceptions, but yeah, generally that's what I found. So... I'll try it again, but so far I'm thinking that's not a repurchase. Uh, L3, Beach, Sage, and Mint. Um, so this is a single oil. I really like it, though. Um, I know it's a type, but I just can't remember what. 
It's a really unique, fresh scent. It's not super minty. But it's just, it's this really, I think I've seen it referred to as like coastal sage as well. It really smells just nice. It's kind of almost creamy. Like it is fresh. But yeah, I feel like there's a slight kind of creaminess to it. Anyway, I really like it. It's really strong. It's really nice when I want something on a like warm summer's day, but I don't want fruity scents or whatever. And I don't want overly same, same kind of beachy scents either. It's just a nice different scent. So I think I would get that one again. It's really good. L3 Seaside Serenity. So another oil. Um, I really enjoy this one as well. This one is actually, it's almost, it's kind of in a similar family to Beach Sage Mint, but it's a bit sharper and cleaner. I mean, they're not the same scent, but I just, I feel like I, I wanted, I melted them at the same time in different rooms because I just felt they kind of complemented each other well. Yeah, so kind of cleaner, more almost like laundry. It's not laundry, but compared to Beach Sage Mint, it's more laundry. Um, I really like it. Good throw again, great throw again. We'll probably get that one again. Uh, L3 Beach Nights Cotton Coconut Cream Pie Cotton Candy Frosting Puppy Pack. Um, this smells great on cold, but I feel like I need to melt again. I don't know. I just don't. I feel like I went into the bedrooms it was melting in, and I just didn't get a huge amount from it. I'm not sure if it was throw or whatever else, but smelling it cold, I get. I think it's mostly coming through as like Beach Nights Cotton Candy Frosting. With a bit of creaminess. And like I've said in this video already, I love her beach nights. So it smells really good. But yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't recall smelling all of that nuance when it melted. So throw, I think it was only medium. And that could be part of the problem. Um, but I'm going to give it a go again. Because I feel like that one has potential. This labelless bag is L3 Starfruit Mango Ginger Ale Island Heat. So this was a doggy bag and I ended up putting it in this bag because the doggy bag busted. It is a great scent. I love the ginger ale, the fruitiness, and I don't know what the island heat is, but it just makes it, um, I think it's slightly cologne-like. So it adds a kind of, it's still fruity, but it just adds like a, slight I don't know it's I want to say masculine in this but it's not really but anyway I love it the only thing is that I'd say I have had it for a while um is that the throw used to be super strong whereas now it's kind of medium-ish so I probably do need to try and push through the rest of it um yeah but still great scent. don't know if I don't think I need to do it again because I have had like, I just haven't reached for it enough. Again, just me, fizzies, maybe a little bit done. But still, good blend. Um, L3 Pumpkin Pecan Waffle Sugar Cookie Royale and Espresso. Love, love, love this. Um, I love Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Um, it's just so good. It's got, like, the espresso is there. It's not super strong, but it just adds a nice coffiness. But it's bakery first. Oh, it's delicious. So I absolutely adore this one. I get great throw from it. Um, I, I think I would get this one again after I finish that loaf. But it's really good. L3 Cookie Therapy Craze. So that's the rainbow scoop. Um, cookie Therapy being, like, Santa's on Keto, which is, like, a brown sugar bakery with pretzels and sugared shortbread i know not everyone loves it i think a lot of people get a lot of pretzel i really like it it's just a really nice dense bakery scent and i really enjoy it with the with the um cotton candy craze scent it's just a really nice sort of sweetener so it's kind of yeah it's dense almost almost salty bakery but with a really nice kind of sweet tone so i really enjoy it Great throw. I have another scoop after this. So I do, yeah, I, I liked it enough to repurchase it already. Super Tarts Blanche. So this is like Lush Supernova with Fizzy, I think. 
to me now it pr it pretty much smells exactly like that it smells like lush supernova which is a to me it's a kind of powdery um kind of powder it's weird it's kind of powdery but fruity it's a weird one i used to love supernova these days not so much i think it's got geranium yeah, I think it's got florals, but it's kind of not floral, like a typical floral powdery scent. I, I, yeah, it's a hard one to describe. I used to love Blanche because I used to love Supernova, but I'm a little bit over it. So this one now, it's only okay. It is very strong though. Um, but yeah, I don't think I need to repurchase Blanche. Southbound Strawberry Pound Cake Cookie Jar. So Strawberry Pound Cake with Super Sugar Cookies, Frosted Sugar Cookies, Sugar cookie dough and vanilla shortbread cookies. So this I really enjoy. Southbound has the good strawberry pound cake. Um, and it just smells so creamy and delicious here with the cookies. Yeah, it's a really yummy scent. I really enjoy it. I just wish the strawberry pound cake part of it lasted longer. I find the good strawberry pound cake just doesn't last very long. Um, but still really enjoy it. Would probably get that one again. Melted this this morning in my kitchen. Uh, L3 Ginger Owl White Zucchini Bread and White Elephant Exchange. I really enjoy this. Um, just, it's gingerbread, not gingerbread, it's ginger ale mostly. But the bakeriness underneath, I would say it makes it creamy, but it's not like creamy, like a creamy soda fizzy scent, but it. It does still smell creamy. Like, there's just something about fizzy scents with bakery. They smell creamy to me. But they smell good. So, yeah, I really enjoy this one. Um, great throw. I definitely would get this one again. It's really good. Probably doesn't need Wild Elephant Exchange. Like, I think I'd do Zucchini Bread Ginger Ale. Maybe Don't Cross Streams or something that's a little bit more obviously creamy bakery. Because, like I said, Wild Elephant Exchange gets lost to me. Uh, L3 Strawberry Pound Cake Beach Night Santa's on Keto. So I really like this blend. I don't normally like her strawberry pound cake. Sometimes in blends it's okay. And in this blend it's fine. Again, I get a lot of that Beach Nights of hers. I love her Beach Nights. I get a light kind of bakery from the Santa's on Keto. And then just a pretty pop of it's almost, it doesn't really smell strongly strawberry pound cake like, but. It's kind of like a strawberry-esque note to it. So I really enjoy it. Um, I get great throw from it. I've got another fluted tart pack of this. And this is like the second one I've gone through. So I don't know. I feel like as much as I've loved it, I might be done with it by the time I finish that pack. But still, really good. So a bit, a few more things to go. Okay, blueberry pumpkin waffle, pumpkin pecan waffles and espresso. This was a custom idea. It was a bit of a failure. I've got one last piece left. I might just throw this back in the box and try and melt it this week to be done with it. First of all, it's not very strong. It's like medium throw at best. And just nothing really kind of stands out. I could get a bit of blueberry, a bit of pumpkin pecan waffles espresso, but it just kind of smells vaguely like a blueberry bakery. I don't know what happened with that one, like why it just didn't turn out, but it didn't. Um, yeah, so medium throw, not a repurchase. Empire Alchemy Camping at the Beach, beach so Ocean Breezes, Smoldering Marshmallow, Warm Caramel Woods, Tobacco and Vanilla Pound Donut. This is really good. Um, it's just, I feel like I get quite a bit of the, um, I'm just trying to figure out, oh, the top of this piece of donut came off. Um... Yeah, like I feel like I get quite a bit of the vanilla crumb donut and the warm caramel woods. Like I get a woody, caramelly kind of donut scent with a bit of tobacco and a light ocean breeze. Like it's quite complex, but it's really nice. Throw the medium. I do wish it threw stronger, but still I really enjoy it. I've got two packs of it, so I don't know if I need to repurchase it after that, but still it was good. The pharmacist's daughter, Mango Claw, so Mango Fizzy Pop. So again, with the Fizzy Pops, just like, yeah, it was all right. I love Mango Sorbet, and it does smell like that Mango Sorbet, so it is nice. But I would have preferred to be melting just Mango Sorbet than this. So, yeah, I don't know. I'll hold on to it next summer. Maybe next summer Fizzy Pop will be back for me. That said, last summer, I kind of didn't really feel my Fizzy Pop sense, so... 
I sort of went, maybe next summer I want to melt my fizzy tops, and it didn't happen, so I don't know. Uh, teddy bees, just naughty, so laid on the beach, vanilla birch bonfire bliss. Laid on the beach is, I think it's a beach treats, like beach nights, maybe Palo Santo scent. The first time I melted this one, I remember I wasn't that impressed with it, but I really enjoyed it this time. I'm really into Bonfire Bliss at the moment. It's To me, it is like a pretty smoky scent, like a perfume version of a smoky scent. Like, it doesn't smell like a real bonfire, but it does make me think of like a nice smokiness, but it, it just smell, has like a slight kind of, like if you translated it into a high-end perfume kind of quality. So I feel like I got a lot of that, but then just some nice kind of, there could be some boardwalk by the clouds. Maybe that's inlaid in the be on the beach. Because, yeah, there's a kind of pretty, a sort of pretty smoothness as well. A slight kind of tree note from the vanilla birch. I don't know, but I just, I really love this. I definitely got the bonfire bliss, but it wasn't heavy. It was just really nice. Um... Like a really good Bonfire Bliss feels kind of autumn, autumn like to me, but this one felt like a summer version of it, so I really enjoyed it. Um, it threw really well, and I do think I'd get that one again, which is odd because I remember the first time I melted, I was not that enthusiastic about it. But anyway, uh, the pharmacist's daughter beans and cream, so coffee house marshmallow sweet and creamy coconut shortbread cookies. Um, it was okay. I don't like coffee house. Coffee house to me smells like like coffee water or um it actually it smells like um those powdered I assume they sell them in America they you can get like in the coffee aisle like like powdered sachets which are kind of coffee drinks and they'll have like vanilla flavor and the coffee you just you just dump them in a cup and you put water in and it makes like a flavored coffee for you and that's what coffee house smells like to me that kind of dry powdery not real coffee um, so on cold, I don't like this at all. It mostly smells like coffee house. On warm, it smelled, it, for, so for starters, it didn't throw super well. So it probably didn't overwhelm me with the coffee house anyway, but the coffee house was more mellow and I felt like I just got a gen, general kind of bakery. So yeah, it wasn't anything special, but it also didn't kind of overwhelm me with the coffee house either. So that was good, but yeah. Um, medium throw doubt it will be a repurchase it's just not 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 my kind of coffee scent i also did this one which i thought was kind of similar actually coconut coffee so coffee house coconut cream pie coconut shortbread cookies and sugar cookie royale um i think i like this one a little bit more same thing again it was only kind of medium throw it has more sweetness to it not sure where that's coming from um but because they both got coconut shortbread cookies. Maybe it's coming from the coconut cream pie. I don't know. But yeah, I felt like this one had a little bit more sweetness to it. And I, let, I think this one on cold, this one definitely smells less like the coffee house than that one. But on warm, to be honest, I probably got similar amounts of coffee. So um, again, medium pro, not a repurchase, but yeah. L3, lemon poppy seed kolaches. I hope this video has gone long. I thought I was Teddy last week, but geez. Um, I like kolaches sometimes. It's a nice kind of flaky pastry scent, but sometimes it's a bit much. And here it just, it almost smells kind of nutty or burnt. Maybe the lemon just doesn't go with it very well. I don't know, but I, it was okay, but it wasn't great. It threw very strongly, but yeah, I don't think I need to repurchase that one. Ebony Violet, IKYFL, so fresh baked creamy zucchini bread, sweet pineapples and whipped cream. I love this. I never would have thought zucchini bread and pineapples would go together, but they do so well. You definitely get a creamy zucchini bread. It's delicious and you get a good amount of pineapple without being too pineapple. It's still very zucchini bakery, but also a good amount of pineapple. Like, both elements stand up really well in this. I get great throw from it. I just love it. I will definitely repurchase that one. Two more scents. L3 Bale Hook. So, Chrome, chrome Cuban Tobacco Whipped Cream Boardwalk Mother Clouds. I really like this. I've had it before, and it's just really unique. Um, like, it's not 
too Boardwalk Mellow Cloudsy. I was a bit worried it would be, but the Chrome and the Cuban Tobacco, and it's not too masculine either. Like, you definitely get those masculine kind of cologne elements, but then you get this nice, sweet, mellow, cream, creamy, girly kind of scent, and they just sit together really nicely. So um, I do, I really enjoy that one. It throws well. I think I have another pack of that, so I don't need to think about repurchasing it. And it's not one I reach for super often, but yeah, it's good. And the last scent I have is Supercard's Little Droid. Little Droid is in the pre-order this week, I noticed. It is Blue Sugar Papaya and um, something else. It's pretty much just Blue Sugar and Papaya. Um, and honestly, it pretty much just smells like papaya. And her papaya is really good. Um, I do like papaya in general. It is one of my one of the better fruity scents. But sometimes it can make me a little bit sick. It's a little bit sickening. But hers is really good. And it's really hard because I can't smell blue sugar in here. But it definitely has a very... It is a very unique spin on papaya. Like there's just something else in there. But it's... It's indescribable. I can't describe what it is other than to say it's just a very unique papaya scent. So I do really enjoy it. It's not one I reach for super frequently. I think I've had this for a while now. Um, but I do enjoy a bit of melting in its summer. So yeah, I don't know if I need to repurchase it. But maybe I will. Maybe just a clam here and there. Like every summer, every couple of summers. But still, really great scent. Um, and that is it. That is everything I melted this week. Big long video. I guess I was just super chatty. Um, because it's the same amount of melt wax that I melt every week now. Um, so yeah, hopefully you're all doing really well. I do, if you have stuck it out with me this long, I do have a forwarder box coming on Monday, so look out for that. Um and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.